What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my autographs in my collection. They could be anything from hockey cards to a physical item that I have autographed from NHL players. I'm really excited because I've been growing this collection for a few years now and it's about time that I made this video showcasing all of my autographs and the ones I love the most. So we're going to be starting off with the hockey cards because they're the easiest ones to go through. Up first, we have a Metallic Marks for Brandon Manning. Uh, I'm not sure if this is his rookie or not. Um, it doesn't really say on the back. So I'm not sure if this is his rookie autographed, but I do have another one of his that is a rookie. I'll get into that in a minute. We have a Miles Woods autograph here for Fleer Showcase Hot Prospects, numbered out of... $4.99, so that's really cool. Absolutely love that one. Now we have my only three future watch autographs. So we have Ivan Barbashev, which Upper Deck actually gave me because they screwed up on a order that I purchased way back when, so they sent me this in a uh, uh, bunch of other cards as well, numbered out of $9.99. We have Derek Forbert, which is one of my favorites uh, players that I think that he's going to be doing big things in the future. I'm really excited. So this is staying in my collection for a really long time. Numbered out of 999 as well. And we have Nick Dowd as well. So those are my future watch autos. And we also have another Brandon Manning uh, rookie relic auto for Panini. Numbered out of 23. This is 10 out of 23. I absolutely love the patch because it has all three colors of the flyers. I love his autograph here. That looks really cool. And it's his rookie auto patch. Numbered out of 23. And I thought that was really cool. Next one's here. We're going to continue with some hockey cards. You guys know I love Daniel Alfredson. My girlfriend actually got me these um, as a thank you. And it's not really focusing here. There we go. Daniel Alfredson autograph. Uh, I think this is a year after he... Can't really see on there. I think it's a year after he uh, became the captain. And we have another Daniel Alfredson autograph here from 2002 Signature Series. Um, this one here is 2001 Signature Series. So yeah, I think this the gold one is a year after he uh, became the captain of the Ottawa Senators. And I collect Daniel Alfredson, so that was really cool. The next one is a Wade Raiden. Let me put it into frame here. Sorry, I'm recording with the camera and I'm not used to it yet. Wade Raiden, this is actually the home game's schedule. And I actually found this autograph in a thrift store in Ottawa. And it was just stuck in the uh, sleeve. So I decided to purchase the book because of the autograph. And uh, that's how I came across that. So that was really cool. And it actually had a really cool story. Uh, with it, so I thought that was pretty awesome. Next here I got off of a mystery pack on eBay. This is Radek Bonk autograph card. Um, I'm not even sure, you know, really what this would be worth, but I absolutely love it. It's really cool, and it's in this hard protective case. So those are the autographs that I wanted to mention. Now, I do have others you guys probably seen on the channel that I've opened through mystery packs or whatnot. Um, those ones, however, are likely ones that I'm going to be getting rid of, um, either trading or different things like that. So they're not staying in my personal collections. So there's no points of really talking about them. Next, I'm going to go to the hockey pucks. Now, this one here, you can't really see because, unfortunately, the day whenever I went to get this autographed in person, he only had black Sharpie markers for some reason. And I purchased the puck from the stands to get autographed. And he only had a black marker, a black Sharpie. So this is actually Chris Phillips. You can barely see it there, but it is Chris Phillips, number four. Um, this was actually at my place of work, Canadian Tire, whenever I used to work there. They used to go to all the Canadian Tires in the area. Um, and they actually went to mine, which is about an hour away from Ottawa. So that's crazy that they traveled that, that far. But I got this autographed in person from Chris Phillips, who was a surprise uh, to even be attending that day. That was really cool. That was uh, the season after he announced his retirement. So I'm not sure 100% if it was he already had, uh, retired and they 
I did the ceremony or not, I honestly can't remember, but that's how long ago that one was. The next one here is Clark MacArthur autographed puck. This one here I got from the Ottawa Senators Foundation back whenever they actually had a uh, pretty interesting stuff they did because they had a mystery pack for $40 with four autos, which is where I received this one. Really cool. And then I went and I purchased this one. I paid more than I should have last summer. This is Pajot's autographed puck. Now this includes a um, thing from Beckett to show that it is authentic and uh, it includes the number and everything for it. I actually purchased this and the Young Guns shortly after and I actually planned on putting it in a uh, case and displaying it on my shelf together. However, the case that I received for Christmas from my girlfriend, it doesn't fit official game used pucks. This is millimeters bigger than other pucks so i'm gonna have to get a different case for that but i definitely want this displayed it was a game used puck and that was really cool and i think i might have paid a close to 50 dollars for that um uh, through an auction so it was u.s currency so i had switched to canadian um shipping there's a, a fee through the auction site which i did not know about at the time and that was all crazy in my opinion but um paid 50 dollars for that Next, I actually keep this because I don't know what, um, what else to do with it. I had it listed for, on eBay for a while, no hits, nothing. And that is a Mark Stone autographed hat. And I honestly don't know what I want to do with it if I want to keep it in my collection. Um, if, I want to keep, if I'm going to keep it in my collection, I want to display it somehow. Any of the protective cases for hats that I've seen, it's for a flat bill. Uh, or beak and this is uh, curved obviously so I'm not sure even if that would work and I don't want to flatten it I want to leave it as is and put it in a uh, a thing I'm not sure if that would work let me know if you guys think that would but a Mark Stone autographed hat I got this also from the uh, Ottawa Senators Foundation and I do have a letter a letter of authenticity for this the puck and the other things that I received from uh, the Ottawa Senators Foundation so that's really cool I did have another hat as well um, but I gifted that to uh, somebody that I thought would enjoy the hat more. That was Jonathan, uh, I'm not even sure who the Ottawa Senators player was. But moving on here, this is another thing that I got signed in person at Canadian Tire when I worked there. This is four autographs. These are cards that the employees actually received. So nobody that attended that day at Canadian Tire whenever the Sens showed up actually received any of these other than one of these two. Um, so these autographs here are for Nick Paul, who at the time was a prospect. He never played a uh, Ottawa Senators games. And at the time, what they did whenever they did these trips for the Sens to different Canadian tires, they brought one player, which was Mark Stone. They brought one prospect. And then luckily for me, the day whenever I went, Chris Phillips was a bonus person, but at the time, uh, Nick Paul was a prospect, so he didn't actually have a card at the time. So this is really, really cool that I got his autograph back when he was a prospect. Not the greatest of player, but he's definitely somebody that is definitely improving on the ice, and I'm hopefully, auto centers are going to keep him around a little bit longer, but uh, so I received one from signing him, having him sign it in person, and the other ones I received from work as an employee kind of a thing that they did for all the employees. They signed like 50 of these each um, and they handed them out to employees or to our boss and our boss handed them out to us the next day we worked. So I have Mark Stone's autographed one here, Nick Paul and Chris Phillips that I received from work. And then I had one Nick Paul signed in person. So I have two Nick Paul autographs back when he was a prospect, which is really cool. I put them in this frame uh, to display up on my shelf, uh, which is what I have been doing. Those were my first time uh, and first and only time getting something autographed in person. And the other thing is this Mark Stone autographed uh, picture, which I actually bought the picture and the puck from the stands. However, the puck, when it was signed in person, it was a black marker. So I wish I would have known that. I would have purchased something else, but they had nothing else for Chris Phillips, only Mark Stone and generic auto center stuff because at the time they didn't know Chris Phillips was going to attend. So I do have his autographed in person here, which was really cool. I think I have photos somewhere of 
them signing it. And the last thing is this Colin White mini stick that is autographed. And once again, this was from the Ottawa Senators Foundation. So this is the 2018-19 season, and I believe that was his rookie year. So I have his rookie autograph uh, mini stick, which I thought was really cool. And I also have a letter of authenticity from the Sens Foundation as well for that item. So this is everything that I have in my collection that is autographed right now. Uh, I've been slowly growing these for, I'd say, three, maybe max four years. Um, you guys seen the unboxing for the Ottawa Sens Foundation when I got those, and any of the hockey cards might have been shown in hockey card videos, eBay mystery packs, and stuff like that. But I wanted to take a minute, go through, and show all of my autographs that I have in my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, uh, I wish I had more autographs, but I'm growing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Any other stuff in the future that I get, maybe I'll do an update video maybe once a year, once every two years. Because like I said, this took about three years to get all this stuff. And I don't want to do an update video if I don't have more than like five or ten items added to it. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.